Welcome back, everybody. It's that time again. We are watching another game of Beyond All Reason. We are back on Comet Catcher because it is a really popular map. It is a very, very popular metal rich map for a four versus four. We have Hagar, Goopy, Bing Bing Bang, and Colonel Sanders on the west. Reset Milk, Zombie Mad, Glass, and Egon Plex on the right. Not gonna waste a second. Let's get right into it. Okay, I was wanting to watch this game because there's some real munchkin play, I think, in this one. And Rezo was the one who recommended it to me. So, <laughs> we're going to see. We are going to see, hopefully. Okay. Slow build up. We, this is, it's, I'm always curious. <clears throat> On a map like this, I'm always curious who goes bots, who may go vehicles who can control the bots better, because bots tend to have more micro problems than vehicles do, but the vehicle's much, much better on flat ground, plus they generally have much better tactical flexibility. Of course, Armada bots are generally the best of the bunch because they have the flea, which can cr crawl right over these open spaces really, really well. Now, one thing that I want to show you guys, I don't think I have mentioned it yet, on this map, these, there's these craters. There's these craters here. And if you see this spot here, from this point to this point, this is actually traversable. A bot can crawl up this little ramp. It's just not immediately obvious. The purple spots are the spots they can't walk over. And there's one cr other crater that's likewise that right here, I believe. Is it a little spot there, maybe? Or maybe I'm... Maybe it's there, but yes, there are craters here that bots can just walk right over. Okay, done with the um, traversability map there. Okay. Oh yes, um, I've noticed ever since the latest changes, unless it was always like this, I just didn't notice. Vehicles are now diamonds, diamond-shaped icons in the map, and uh, bots are circles. So that makes things easier. A little bit easier. Okay. Bing Bing Bang is going Armada Vehicles. Goopy already has Armada Vehicles. He's um, unfortunately lost his scout. Armada Vehicles up here with Hagar. And Cortex Bots with Grunts. Right here for Colonel Sanders. Okay. Egan Plex is Cortex Bots. He's already on this expansion here protecting with a Grunt. And he's already getting two more mexes. So he's going to be on five with three solars, okay. You need more solars than that though, but we'll see it from him, pretty sure. Zombie Mad, expanding here with Armada Vehicles. There's not more Cortex Bots, there's a lot of Cortex Bots here. Rezo is bots, Armada Bots, okay. The only Armada Bot that I see in this entire map, which is a real surprise. Yeah, there's his fleece. I'm um, gonna run into Goopy though. Yep. Running in the Goopy. Oh, they kill a mechs while they're at it, though. <laughs> that's good. I mean, that was worth it. If you can kill the mechs, that's good. I mean, it's much, much better if you can catch these and constructors out, though. Okay, see, if like if this happens, mm, they might not have the DPS for it, though. Nope, they get caught. Yeah. If you can kill the enemy constructors, that really sets them back. That means they can't expand, and they don't have a constructor immediately available to reclaim anything that dies. So, that is really bad. Okay, now what's this? So Colonel Sanders is moving a uh, res bot into the crater here where it can't be seen. Of course it can't be seen already because it's stealthy. But I guess he wants to have a repair station, maybe? Okay. Eganplex has tanks. Incisors. Uh oh, yep, he might get his res bot caught. If they don't see it, they'll see it. They'll see it and they'll chase it down. Yep. That's that's a big loss. Oof. Okay. <clears throat> so glass has radar. Very important. It's made us forward radar. I'm pretty good spot here actually. Right in this little crater-ish thing, but it has a bit more height, you can see. Okay. Glass has pointed out the flash tanks, or blitz tanks rather. Which is good. Zombie man's moving into uh, intercept. Rezo looks like he might get for a second it might look like get 2v1 there. But no. Goopy has to deal with glass. Of course, I mean, it's bots versus tanks. Peewees are good. Well, no, no, I'm sorry. 
the blitz tanks will pretty much slaughter those um, grunts. And why? Because grunts, their advantage relies in trying to kite the pawns by like moving backwards and using their range to, to chew up the pawns. But with light tanks, especially blitz tanks, they're 99 speed. You just can't outrun that. You can't like kite them. You just get shot. You just get shot. Okay. Hmm. So, oh, he's lost his expansion. Did not lose his constructor yet. Goes right past it. Okay, he's got a Janus tank here, though. Oh. Ouch! Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. I mean, the laser tower probably would have done some damage, too, but uh, Janus tanks out for Zombie Mad. That's gonna really, really put the hurt on those blitzes. I mean, one decent shot. I mean, that was only one rocket. Now imagine both hitting those tanks at once and nearly kills it. It will kill whole packs of them. Hmm. Okay, 10 grunts versus six grunts. Um, he's lost both his res bots, it seems. Okay, Glass is doing something interesting. He's actually building walls. Glass is building walls. I, I never thought I'd see this. Wow, okay. Glass looks like he's switching to vehicles too. Yeah, okay. Normally when you do this, you reclaim the bot lab so you have the metal to build the vehicle lab or plant, but um, he might do that anyway. He's gonna need nano turrets to make it uh, efficient though. Oh, oh! Oh, so, okay, Colonel Sanders' bonsai charged this commander right into, <laughs> right into Egan. And now they're both dead. And, um, where's the other rack? Where's the other rack? Uh, is it gone? Did it just get vaporized? Wow. So Sanders still has his rack on the left side there. He's, he's got a lot of troops here. Okay. Bing Bing is in position, though. If Glass can help Egan retake that, then they have a chance. But, oh, okay, he's gonna kill his constructor, which is good. But Bing Bing with his commander, supported by Colonel Sanders' infantry, is going to get that commander wreck, and that's gonna be a humongous boost to their economy. Okay. Rezo, together with Zombie Mads Janus. Oh, Mike Kokupi. Yep, with the Janus tank and these infantry. There's the shot. There it is. Boom! Sniped right on the front by the Janus tank. Sniped by the rockets. These things are the bane of commanders. Bane of commanders. No matter how many other things you kill. You get five shots on these, is all it takes. So. Koopy's lost his commander. Now zombie mad. Because got two constructors here already. Already reclaiming that commander. Now will we see him share some of that metal with his buddies? We'll see. Does he have... He has two nanos. Good. He's on the ball. Okay. So... Goopy, or Glass is building Armada vehicles in addition to Cortex vehicles for some reason. Is he trying to build Janus? Hmm. Okay, so Egan's holding out for now, but this push with all of these uh, grunts together with these plasma bots looks really, really dangerous. But it's got resbot support too. Okay, Bing Bing, look at all these rocket tanks though. I mean, that's way more than five, that's nine. So he has nine Janus. So if he just gets in range of a commander, then five of those shoots, and that commander's dead. And on its own, the, the sheer alpha strike burst damage from all of those rocket tanks will be enough to wipe most forces just clean. Watch this. Okay. Okay, and in the right. Oh, there it is. Yeah. See the grunt line just completely evaporate to all of those Janus? I mean, even with splitting out, there's so many rockets there, it just doesn't matter. So, Glass is just getting white here now. Hmm. He's got three factories. Three factories. And no... Wait, okay, two... One nano turret. Assisting out more grunts. Assisting grunts that are just going to die to the uh, Janus at this point. So... I'm trying to think, what will the counter here be? The counter to Janus is usually just completely overrunning them. You would need something 
that's tough enough to not die instantly, but it has the speed to run up to the giant tanks to kill them. So light tanks are okay, unless the fire is so, so thick, but uh, medium tanks are generally better. Medium tanks can run them down and kill them. But these um, light tanks here are doing work. But, what was that? Okay, I, I swear I just heard a heavy laser. Never mind. Colonel Sanders looks like he's about to wipe Egan. I mean, at this point, it's usually a really good idea to call for help from your allies or like warn them that you're going to lose like, like very, very quickly. But uh, not quite happening here. Okay, there's the heavy lasers. There's two of them. Rezo is having a tank battle here with uh, Goopy. Right in this cho oh, ho that's bad. Kills both armies with the comm bomb, but it's so close to Goopy's territory. But Goopy doesn't have a constructor right there to capitalize. He's immediately moving him up. He should have had those earlier. Now Rezo has a constructor. He's able to move. Oh, oh. Oh, it's this. Okay, he's building mine layers. This is, I think, what I wanted to see here. So Rezo is building mine layers to, I guess, protect the choke, because he's getting two, okay, now there's a 2v2 here. Zombies, uh oh, zombies exposed. Bing Bing is critical massing with all these tanks. And okay, Glass is moving to help Egan, but that's taking so many units away from here. Uh, there's artillery, but that's not going to work versus the medium tank switch. Get run over. Get run over. Yep. They will just completely shred the light turrets. Hmm. Glass is doing okay trying to help his buddy, but, uh... Uh... Okay. What are we looking at here? Rezo has his mine layers. He has some tanks still. But, uh... Needs to be reclaiming a lot more to make this work. Uh, there's another commander. That's Glass's commander. So they're down to one now. Zombie Mad is the only one left, and he's right on the front. But that seemed to have taken out a bunch of Bang Bang's army with it, unless it was just already dead. Okay. So, Rezo is building... What is he building? What is that? Okay, that was just Dragon's Teeth. I'm not sure if that was something else. Okay. Okay. What are we looking at? Yep, Egan's dead. He has, like, nothing left but one missile truck and one line tech. Uh-oh. Okay, Sanders has shuriken paralyzing drones now. Oh, baby. Uh, that is really, really bad. I mean, the missile trucks will kill the blade, the um, shuriken drones pretty quickly. If they don't just die quick, die immediately. But, uh, Bing Bang is just getting his, uh, getting his forces back up to critical mass really really quick because he has the production he has energy he has all this all this metal and he has what looks to be okay yeah he's got construction vehicles and reclaim duty right on the front which is extremely important so i mean that's trying he's he's trying his best here but he's about to get shot oh okay okay now he'll survive for now He's gonna get spanked by that Janus, but maybe kill it in turn? Yep, okay. So, Bang Bang's lost just a lot of units there, so he's got a little bit of breathing room. Oh! Okay. He's not doing the space build to grid build all the mines. So, so Rezo's building a minefield here in case he gets overrun, which I think he expects he's going to be. I mean, when it gets down to the heavy laser war, I mean, you don't want to be in that position versus vehicles because they have the perfect weapon to counter heavy laser towers, which is light artillery vehicles, which can just overshoot them. Hmm. Okay, so Sanders owns the southeast. He's got resbots there. <laughs> He's got resbots supported by tanks and supported by light air units now. Okay, resurrected tanks, but tanks nonetheless. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, Rezo is holding. But, uh... Not... So much against two versus one here. 
Zombies having to hold Bang Bang. Glass is having to pull double duty trying to uh, hold the southeast. And why is Zombie... Okay, Zombie's making fighters. I guess to counter the uh, Shuriken, which is good. Could also be making... Um, making more Shurikens himself unless he's, uh, he's armed? Okay, no, he's armed. He doesn't get Shurikens, he gets um, Banshees, which are like gunships. Don't think we've seen those yet. Okay, here it is. Goopy is pushing along. Okay, he's re he's restoring the ground. Well, that makes an interesting little conundrum. It makes a cliff that that the tanks get can't not get through. I never thought of that. If you re if you restore half of a crater, it makes just enough of a cliff that they can't get past. Uh, at least until they get constructors there to um, restore the rest of it. But, um, I'll have to try this sometime. Okay. Uh, this looks bad, though. So, 15 minutes in. Glass has built his own Janus tanks, which, I mean, goodness. Look at that damage. Yeah, they're completely shredding those plasma bots. So, he's got what he needs. Zombie Man looks like he's doing pretty well, actually. I mean, Bing Bang, for all of his production and all of his units, He's been put on the back foot so many times by now that the East has had time to rally. Okay. Okay, Goopy is pushing through. Goopy's pushing through with his tanks. Rezo holding out valiantly. He's got a minefield here of 35 medium mines. I believe that they are. Light mines, okay. Not, not mediums. Still gonna do some damage though. And this thing, yeah, it feels like making some more. His mind are dead though. Okay, Zombie Mads has bombers here. Uh, what's he gonna do with those? Bomb the solar income? I guess if he bombs Goopy with his solars, bombs Hagar with his advanced solars, now that would be a blow. Advanced solars are so hard to get on this map because you need so much energy to build those, like on top of the metal. That's not usually worth it on a um, map with so little energy like this. It's much harder to critical mass. Okay. He's scouting with his fighters, doing a sweep. And then he's gonna pave the way for his bomber strike. Mm hmm. Okay. He's looking for targets. What's he looking at? He's gonna do. Okay, he's going to bomb. What? Okay, he's gonna cue it. He's going to bomb Goopy's solar cluster first. He should do a line bomb here, though. But we'll see. We're going to see it. Will he bomb the nanos? He will not hit the nanos. Will he? Nope. He will not hit the nanos, which is bad. <laughs> he needs to hit the nanos. If he hit the nano turrets, then um, it would have lost his production capability. So... He has only a limited amount of time before he can put up uh, air defenses sufficient. Bing Bing's losing, but not losing enough. He's not losing enough to make this count. Goopy's lost a lot of solars. But, um... You don't kill the lab. You don't kill the lab because he'll just rebuild that. You kill the construction turrets and the constructors themselves. And then that's the, what the real damage comes from. He's lost his fighters, though. He lost his fighters too early, and so he couldn't cover them from these fighters. So, yeah, that air raid did not do nearly as much as it, as it needed to. That's really unfortunate. Okay. So, apparently these mines did go off. I wasn't even looking, and I'm so sad. I should have been looking. He's making more, though. Okay. Colonel Sanders is being stymied by glass. Bing Bing is building up his forces. He's waiting until he gets uh, enough. Hagar. Oh boy. Hagar is 2v1ing against Zombie Mad right now. Which is bad. Okay. Zombie Mad has more tanks, but okay. He's going to get pincered between that and Rezo. Oh boy. Yep, Rezo's coming through. He's not even microing, is he? Oh, no. I'm surprised no one's going tier 2 yet. I mean, with this kind of income, when you get this many solars. Hmm. Oh. Okay. 
So, goodness, this is kind of a stalemate right now. Glass is, uh, oh, he, okay, we're seeing heavy lasers now. That's, uh, easily counterable, but not if there are so many units in front to support it. I mean, you want the range to be able to hit the tanks when they try to, um, run, I guess. Still not, still not, not optimal versus tanks, though. So, Hagar is getting his army killed. There's no constructors, like, right there, though. There's one right behind. There's just one. Okay, there's one more coming up. There's two more here, though. But there should be some stuck right in with them. Bang Bang's attack is right here. Okay, Bang Bang cometh. Bang Bang cometh, everybody. Zombie. Zombie, watch it. Okay, okay, yeah, kill him. Yeah, Bang Bang got scared by the D-gun. He could have ended it right there. Though, if he'd spread out. Oh, he's getting chased. He's getting chased. Is Janus gonna get caught? He's not gonna risk going after the commander and lose from all disintegrator, is he? He is. No. He turns. Oh, he turns and he got gunned anyway. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Much pain. Huh. Oh yes, class and zombies saw that and killed it, but now that might have opened the door for Sanders? No. Sanders is getting... Janus for to hell and back here. So. I mean, these things may look overpowered, and they, they are very, very powerful, but um, they do have their weaknesses. They they turn like tubs of water, for one thing. They're extremely easy to catch. As you saw, he had some with this tank force. They just couldn't keep up, and they got killed by the medium tanks, like, instantly. So, hmm. Bing Bing has some advanced soldiers now. Goopy is swapping out his solars for advanced ones. Oh, wait a second. When the hell did he go tier two? Okay, Colonel Sanders has pyro, oh, fiends, fiends now. He has tier two and he's building up a tier two economy. That'll really help his buddies out. So, I mean, fiends are one of the counters to medium tank spam because of their flamers are, are really good. They have enough um, survivability, they're fast. The, plus the fiends, when they blow up, they only have like a one or two second timer to self-destruct. And when they do blow up, they do like a thousand damage each one and a decent radius around themselves. So if they get in amongst the tanks and blow up, they can do so much damage. And they cost only like 200 metal a piece. I mean, each tank is like 235. What's this? Okay, so they're seeing glasses finally are being able to, to get enough forces out hmm. to uh, attack Bing Bang. Bing Bang's been pretty much unmolested this whole time. So, East is still in this, I mean, surprisingly enough. What is really taking me off, though, is the fact that Eganplex lost everything, but he's still in the game. He's still in the game. I mean, why can't you guys just give him some units to control? Your ally is dead, but he's still in the game. So give him something to control so that he can help you guys win. That's what you do. But, oh well. I guess he's not quite asking for it either. So. Uh, Goopy. Hmm. Goopy's doing some damage. Oh, he ran into a couple mines. They're still spamming medium tanks. Look at all these wrecks. Jeez. I'm surprised I'm not seeing more Janus up north to support. Like, zone out the tanks and try to control the wreckages. Hmm. Oh, console. Console. Okay. Hobbit engineers are good. They're fast and they have a lot of build power. I mean, almost an out turret's worth. He's uh, going to be supporting the buildings and reclaiming something. So, those look like Sheldons. Yeah. Okay, yeah. There's so much going on now. Gosh. <laughs> I need to like stay zoomed out here for a second. So, what are we looking at here? He has gone tier 2. He's got mortar bots. He's got flame bots. Bing, bing. Still on tier 1. Uh-oh. Zombie Mad now has balls. So we know how the prize bull heavy tanks. Okay, so he is going to just run over Bing Bing's tanks now. This is entering the late game stage, everybody. 
Glass is holding out, but its economy is not really keeping up. There's so many wreckages here that could be re-plucked up. Yeah, West is um, critical massing here with uh, fusion reactor with Moho mines or advanced metal extractors now. Oh, baby. Okay, he's giving Glass a advanced instructor. Good. Good, good, good. But, uh... Glass is now facing very, very fearsome fiends here. Which are, are going to just shred his tier 1 tanks. So he needs... Okay, yep, there it is. He is getting his own tier 2 bots. He doesn't need that advanced constructor anymore, but he's got this one, though. So he needs to counter fiends, either with his own fiends or with sumos. So shoot them dead. While still having the HP to survive the flamers. Or maybe even use crawling bombs, but uh, those are a bit tougher to use. Okay. Zombie Mad could do is splitting his tanks up a bit more so he doesn't get surprised and leave so many openings. Oh, there it is. Okay. There went the tanks. They run into the mines and several of them got popped. So. Yeah, Mrezo is making some decent cluster fields there. Oh. Sudden death, everybody. There's one com left and on the side, Bing Bing just got popped. That was pretty good. It does mean his, um... Ah, that console's dead. So it does mean that they can't really get the uh, wreck in that place, though. Yep, it just died. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's pain. Oh, that's pain, pain, pain. He only has this many units anyway. He does not have anti-air. He doesn't have a scrap of anti-air to stop this. The shuriken's coming in. Yep. Oh, the, see, the Janus rockets cannot hit air units. So they're all going to get EMP'd. <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's bad. And here come the flamers. Burn them, boys. Yeah. That's bad. Okay, Zombie Mets Commander's still alive, but now Glass's base is just about to get burned to a crisp. Just about to get burned to a crisp. And before he even really got his tier 2 economy off the ground, which is unfortunate. So. Rezo has held out this entire game, though, with Zombie Mad together. And they did almost, um, if Zombie Mad had been allowed to get enough, okay. Goopy's got tier 2 heavy tanks as well now. But they were all, both teams are on one commander, so sudden death mode. The last thing to die wins the game. But it looks like it's going to be zombie. Okay. Now, nah, East team's just leaving on mass now. <laughs> what strikes me interesting, the one of the last people left is the person who died is still here. <laughs> okay. Yep, zombie's commander looks like he's dead to the flame bots. Yep. Or no? Nope. There it goes. There it goes. That was some beautiful fireworks, though. <laughs> okay. Well. Well, that was something. Um, pause there. Huh. Okay. So, I didn't really see that the mortar bots did much, but the fiends, oh goodness. And before that, completely just ruining Eganplex's base, his infrastructure, his military, by killing the commander early, I believe, did a lot of damage. And then suppressing the army with uh, so many units here, pressing with plasma bots, with infantry, going forward. I mean, if you don't have a commander, you don't have something that can walk forward and degun the plasma bots, which is uh, not the situation you want to be in. I mean, you have to micro it right, but you can do it. And so, there was so, so much pressure coming in the middle, though. I mean, Goopy and uh, Bing Bing pushing up together, they were able to create pressure all along here, while, I mean, Zombie Mad, Resimuk, and Glass, their attention was too split. When Eganplex died, Glass was having to divert attention to the south and try to stop everything from collapsing. They did remarkably well for a long time, and it looked almost like it might turn around when Zombie Mad got those tanks. But then 
they got destroyed here. I mean, that south is always their weakest spot. So maybe it was kind of inevitable, but they did well while well, it lasted. That air bombing, though, that could have done so much more, I think. The solars were good. The solars were good, but what would have been much better is if they bombed the nano turrets, which are all clustered up here. Like nine of them? Those go down. You don't have the build power needed to build more units quickly. Those are like the first thing you bomb, and they're very easy to destroy. You bomb those, and then you bomb advanced solars, which are cost so much energy to get up, and then you stymie their income. So, I mean, great game all around. That was a lot of interesting uh, play going on. Those are some nice mines, some Rezo kind of uh, helping to stymie the tanks from getting into his base. So, he held the north flank all game. The middle was completely solid from both sides. Nothing was able to get through. But the south flank here was the uh, clincher. And uh, really good play from Colonel Sanders there, being able to exploit that and uh, fight against glass. So that carried the day. It would have been interesting to see what it um, would have turned into had it gone on much longer, though. I mean, with the tier two forces on the other side. But that is that, and I'll be looking for the next one now. See everyone later.